Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hilpula with another new video. As we have started CSSF 2000 tutorial series and in this lecture, I am just going to show that how will analysis a simply supported beam. Okay, so that was our previous lecture model. I have just shown you that how will edit or get system perfectly. So to analyze this a simply supported beam, I'm just taking a new model. Okay, no, no change. So from here, it will be keep fit. It's okay. Okay, and now they have two option. They don't. They have a directly beam option, and they have grid only option. So first of all, I will show you about beginning. I mean from beginning, and after that, I will show you about the beam. I mean the automated automatic by using automatic process how we can design that i'll show you that so first of all I'll click at grid only and from here you know that what is the difference between that two one then condition i'll select that after that number of green in x direction i'll consider that is two as yes, simply supported and uh in a y direction i'll consider that is one sorry that is one this is two and this is one and in z direction i'll also consider that is one and um, i'll forget about the two value in y and x direction or z direction okay i'll just focus on that x direction then of course it is what is the difference or what is the here what is the difference between two support suppose if i consider that that is 15 feet because uh, we have selected here, if you see here, I have selected the length in feet. So it's done. 15, then I'll click OK. So if you see here, here is your, this is 3D view. Okay, this is 3 view. And here is the, if I just zoom it, so here is the 3D, and here is the 2D. This is the XY plane, and this is yz and this is uh, xz so this is xz and this is yz right if we see if we come here so after that here we have to select that plane in xz we can consider that in xz right we can consider that value in x z so when it's here now first of all we have to draw a bib here so we can take a any ordinary frame or line here and from here and the estate frame that will be estate frame um section we can consider f s c one okay the section is that is the section and the moment release that is continuous okay or pinned so I'll just consider this is con con continuous and offset oh, that is okay now I'll just simply first of all click here and another one I'll click here okay then I'll take mouse here and then escape so here we have draw our beam now we have to provide support so here we have to provide on support and here so you know that here uh, the first support is one is pin and another is him so I'll, first of all i'll select that point and from here i'll go assign joint then actually uh in step they have many option to provide joint so i'll just come here restraint and from here i'll select that on hinge so hinge main translational one two and three it will take force from any direction it will consider but it will not consider any moment or rotation right so i'll just apply so here the uh hints and if i click that point and from here if i click that roller for roller it will consider only translational three okay i mean it will take load only from z direction right then apply so it's done so here our model is okay right now what we have to do we have to provide load now they have some question 
which load will provide here to analyze that model live load or dead load so we can provide dead load here okay we can apply here dead load but if we apply dead load on it then we have to neglect self weight of that structure because you know that when we uh, analysis we draw a shift or bmd then we do not consider self weight of that structure we uh, consider for any kinds of external load right so we have to uh, consider uh, i mean we have to ignore the self weight okay so uh, that's why if we consider live load then they have no problem uh, what is that actually defined then here if if i come here uh, for load pattern so if you see here dead load dead load and the self weight factor that is one actually okay then simply we have to take here zero okay we have to take here zero then it will not consider the self weight of that structure are you clear otherwise if you see your calculation result will be not okay it uh, the software will consider the self weight because already have defined about that but uh, they have a simple solution so we can uh, also consider that we can give it zero sorry we can give it zero right and uh, if you modify click here modify just see here just see here that is zero now our dead load self weight multiplier that will be zero then if we click ok now we'll assign load here so how we'll assign load here to assign load here I'll just simply come here assign then I'll come down now question is which types of load will apply here okay which types of load will apply so for uh, joint load if you want to apply joint load that then you have to come here and for frame load okay just you have to select frame load from assign then frame load then that many types gravity load point load distributed load temperature load okay, there are many types of load actually here so i'll just consider first of all suppose uh I'll show you about okay. I will show you about that for different types of load. So first of all, if I show you about point load, okay. So it will be okay. That structure is okay. And uh, here there are two options. So this is the load will be gravity, and from here the coordinate. There are many global or local, so that will be global and load direction. That will be gravity or z here gravity or z are same so you can select any of it so i'll consider gravity because if you select z then here you have to consider something in upper direction the the reaction of z in upper direction is positive so when you give your select z then you have to give that value in negative are you clear so i'll if you consider gravity then it's okay now what is that actually load type that is force and from here you have to consider the relative distance from int 1 okay this is the in 1 and that will be the relative distance so what is the relative distance actually okay what is the relative distance actually here the relative distance is suppose from here to here from that point to that point that distance is 10 feet okay now if we need to if we need to provide some load in the middle or five feet from that int okay five feet from that int then what will be the relative actually we will divide it the a small distance i mean the required distance i mean where suppose here will provide a load and its distance is from the left in this 5 feet then we will divide that 5 feet by total distance i mean 10 feet then what will be actually it is it will be 0 0.5 so this is known as relative distance and if you consider 0 0.5 and if you give here the load in relative distance that then you'll get the value of your load at midpoint or 
the distance of 5 feet away from the left end. But when your structure is simple, then it's easy, I mean easy way to use absolute distance. Absolute distance means from left end, okay, from end 1, from that point, how much distance away you want to give load? Just you have to consider that. Suppose in a uh, 4 feet away, I just want to apply a gravity load or point load. And then here, here, uh, suppose this is 0, suppose here at this absolute distance when 0 then load is 0 when absolute distance is uh, considered uh, I will suppose I will take give load after 4 feet so when at 4 feet distance okay at 4 or uh, okay at 4 feet distance I will give 1 keep load okay I will keep 1 keep load so it's done now if I click ok now Sorry, we have done a mistake. We didn't select that structure. First of all, we have to select, then we'll come here, then the point load, and that is okay here. Then I'll just click apply. So see here with the one keep load in downward direction. Right? So here the one keep load we have provided at four feet distance. Are you clear? So when it's done, then I'll just click OK, and after that, I'll go for analysis. Okay, I'll go for analysis. Simply, uh, it's done, and now I'll save that model by clicking here Save, and in desktop I'll take a file. S O C E School of Civil Engineering. Save. Okay, it's done. The I'll give a name simply supported beam SSB then save so when it's 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 saved now I'll just come here I'll just simply click here run the model okay so we can ignore that will not run will only run our model for dead dot then click run now and here is the view okay here is the view this is the view of this is the view of deflection okay this is the deflection now if you come here from here show force or stress and here show differences so if I come here display in 3d or 2d it's okay so click a display show undeformed shape then from here uh, show deformed shape and here show force or stress then from here the joint reaction I'll simply click here for dead load arrow then apply so just see here that is 0 0.3 0 0.73 keep and here it's 0 0.7 keep right so this is the reaction of our value so you can give take that value in tabular form so f3 that is 0 0.27 and f 0 0.7 and if i close here and again if i display then show force or stresses then here frame so for frame if you come here for dead load and this is the for force and this is the component this is for axial force okay this is for axial force and if I click apply so they have no actually axial forces now if you go for share tool tool then apply just see here this is the shear okay this is the shear and uh, here if you click show value apply so as the value of for share tool tool okay this is the value of share tool tool now if I consider here share 3 3 and they have no value of share 3 and for moment 3 3 if you click here that is the figure of moment is it clear to you and for torsion actually they have no torsion so this is a scaling automatic and if you consider field diagram and then for shear 2 so this is and for a stress if you want to see the stress 
for s is 1 apply here is the stress for s is 2 apply this is the stress for 2 2 and stress 1 3 stress max is the stress minimum so here you are able to see everything from here so actually that is the way to design a simply supported beam in staff so thank you thank you very much i think that was helpful for you and uh, if you think that that's really helpful for you then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update our first about our channel and about civil engineering related topic so thank you for being with us and in next video i'll show that how we'll assign in that lecture structure actually i'll show that how we'll assign a uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load here and how will analysis that so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video